It's always been about the money piece and it always will be about the money piece. I've spent countless years perfecting my money piece and honestly, it's a lot easier than people make it out to be. The money piece has withstood the test of time. It is not going away anytime soon. Let me show you how I do my money pieces in five minutes or less. And you better listen to my directions, okay? In order to do this, you're gonna need a few tools. I really recommend a tail comb. And if not a tail comb, then just a regular comb will do, I guess. You're gonna need some clips. Smaller ones are better. You get a better, cleaner section and it's not too bulky and in the way. So just something that's small like this will be great. You're gonna want a mixing bowl, a brush, and a whisk is optional, but they're also very handy. And I love a brush like this for painting. Something that is not very wide and also tapers at the end really small. These are great for painting. I highly recommend having a pair of gloves. Please wear some damn gloves. And then of course, we need some lightener and I'm gonna be using 30 volume today. These are what's gonna lighten the hair. Let's bring in my client. Oh, hello! You need a makeover, darling, don't you? What does that mean? Well, you look a little disheveled, hon. You look a little bit winter. It's giving drabby. What are, wait a second, what is going on here? <laughs> Why are your layers so short? Did I do this? What is this? So I actually just did this side so that I could show you guys what's going on. So basically we're gonna have two sections. This is what it's gonna look like when you're done painting. So it's basically gonna go really close to the scalp and it's going to kind of descend down in a vertical towards her ear. So you're kind of starting up really high over here and going downwards and having everything be really blended and soft. All right, but we want really impactful highlights at the bottom. So I fully saturated the ends and then I did the same thing on the underneath. Also, when you lift this up, you'll notice that there's highlights underneath too. So when the hair is pulled back, it still looks nice and bright. So let's do the same thing on the other side and let me break it down how I actually did that. Okay, how we first are gonna do this is we're gonna find the recession where the hairline kind of dips back and we're gonna section the hair out right there. So we have the hair kind of split in two on the side of the head horizontally. Then we're gonna clip that back just like that. We're just gonna take a section out like so, all right? So it's about an inch wide section right in front of the ear like that. And that is how much I'm gonna pull back and clip into place. Now let's work on this first section. So we're gonna first paint the front and then we'll move on to the back. We're gonna wanna focus most of the lightener on the mid section of the hair. Let's apply the majority of the lightener there and then let's start working it down towards the hairline. But you never wanna start directly on the hairline or you'll get way too much lightness right there and it'll look splotchy. See, I kinda just messed up, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is gently rub off some lightener and that's gonna look totally fine. But you'll notice the my brush kind of dries out once I get to the front of the hairline and that's exactly what we want. We want the lightener to be kind of dry up there and not fully saturated and then fully saturated towards the ends. The more saturated the hair is in the lightener, the more lightness you will get. So I'm just use my hands to kind of blend the lightener in and we're gonna work down that entire section. And that looks great. Let's get a bit more lightener on there and let's switch over to the back side. I'm gonna pull the hair forward, but do not touch your face with it. I'm gonna hop on the other side to show you this. I'm now pulling the hair forward towards the face and we're gonna now paint the back of the hair. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the back. It doesn't need to be perfect, I promise. I'm gonna take the hair into my hands and just go at it, fully saturating about halfway down from the scalp. And I'm actually going to use my hands to really mush in that lightener to get it really nice and saturated. That is our first piece done. Now let's move on to the next. And this one is the most important of all. All right, let's get our next section out. As you'll see, the hairline sort of moves back like that. So we're gonna take our section in that same direction so that the hairline is parallel to the parting. And we're going about an inch back 
from the hairline. That looks good. We'll clip the rest back. And this is what my section looks like. And now let's begin painting. This one is gonna be a little different, as you can see from this side. We're gonna start by kind of making this point. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you comb the hair nice and straight, pull the hair directly out from the scalp, and put some nice tension on it. Let's work on painting that beautiful little tiny money piece at the front. You can make this piece as thick or as thin as you want. I like it very thin just like that. That's all I'm gonna do for that really, really high part of the money piece. And then I'm gonna slowly kind of bring it down towards the back and have everything kind of connect to that really high up piece. This is where I'm at right now. I'm gonna blend this a lot more, but this is what I'm saying. It goes really high in the front and it's going down towards the sides. The great part about this is that you do not need to make it that perfect. Because we're over directing the hair forward, when the hair is styled down in place, it's gonna be so much more blended. So you can kind of have these harsh lines here and it's not gonna matter. Now we're gonna paint the hairline. We're gonna flip this up. It's okay if it looks a little messy like this. We are gonna start in the middle again and we are just going to paint down towards the hairline. I know a lot of stylists would be cringing to see me sort of flip this section like this while the other side is painted, but I swear it's not that serious and it works every time. And your painting does not need to be as serious as so many people make it. Look at that's all you need to do. That looks gorgeous. See that blend? Now we're gonna flip it back to the other side and we're gonna fully saturate everything from about midway down on the hair. Really make sure you get everything. You do not want any spotting or places that you missed. Really saturate the hair, move it around, go side to side, up and down with the brush, and make sure you don't have any unevenness. Like, if you see this on the hair, that line right there, you do not want that. Your hair will not all be even. Put light pressure on the top surface of the hair to make sure all the lightener is even, okay? You can do it. Beautiful, let that down, and that is the end of that. Okay, we did it. This looks amazing, this is going to look flawless, and I hope yours looks great too. We are obviously gonna get a lot of brightness right in the front, this is almost done. I'm only gonna let this process for about 35 minutes. I don't want our hair super, super light. I might not even end up toning it, we'll see what happens, but you should check your hair at about 35 minutes, see if it's the lightness you want, and then go from there, and process it for up to about an hour, depending on the desired results. I think I think this is looking really great and I don't want it to get too too light because I want this to all blend and look natural but still kind of like poppy and sexy you know what I mean I'm gonna rinse off this side first because I finished this one about 15 minutes later and then I'll wash this one 15 minutes later because I finished it 15 minutes later I'll see you once everything is rinsed out and here she is oh my god she looks incredible I'm actually jealous like I want this hair on my head oh my god I outdid myself on this one she looks hot as hell I also want to mention that I did not tone her hair at all all I did was shampoo and conditioner the lightener off and blow dryer her hair and this is what it looks like so you do not need to you know do any fancy techniques with your toners in order to blend if you do the balayage correctly in the first place and because she has no toner on her hair this is gonna grow out perfect the way it is because uh you know sometimes once those toners fade off and that that root smudge fades off it's not looking too cute this is gonna grow out amazingly and um yeah she is super blended at the root area everything looks stunning it even looks looks great with the rest of her hair being dark and it just really lightens up her face and makes everything really come together and looks so sun-kissed and gorgeous. Anytime I can paint hair, I paint it. Like money pieces, yes. I think they look the best when you paint them. I know a lot of people will disagree with me on that, but I am obsessed with doing money pieces like that. And if the hair is super, super dark, consider using foils when you do this or leaving the lightener on for longer. This is the easiest way I've found to do it and the most effective and the one that looks the best in my opinion. So that is how I do it. Don't rush, but also don't over obsess about your painting. With the over direction that we did and the partings, you're gonna get a blended look, kind of, no matter what. So I hope that helps you do your own hair at home to give yourself some gorgeous summery money pieces. They're gonna look 
fabulous on you. Check out my hair care and hair color line at xmondohair.com or with the link right down below. We have all kinds of sickening products, brand new bond building products, leave-in creams, shampoos, conditioners, hair colors, you name it, we have it. Wave products. Hell yeah, I forgot to mention that one. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye.